All right, what you see here is a Minka Air Contract Series ceiling fan. It is in the brushed steel finish with walnut blades. I got this from the Light and Regis showroom as they are doing a clearance sale on everything that's there as they are closing that showroom down, unfortunately. And this one was the display one. I got this along with two other ones, though. This one I got more recently along with the last one that was new in the box. But it was the one that was the open box one. That they had it open up just so you can see it. But it was still sealed and everything. Um, <clears throat> yeah, they were 20 bucks each. I'm keeping one for myself. And I'm this one along with another one I'm going to be giving to the um, diner that has those two Hampton Bay Quick Connect ceiling fans in white. As those are childhood fans. And I figured these look a lot nicer in there. So, um, yeah. <clears throat> This one, out of the two, is definitely not in the, is a little bit more worn for the fact that since it was on display for about a good seven years, I'd say, the blades, are, some of them are warped downwards a little bit, but um, I'm just going to test it out and see how it does. I know it's probably going to have a little bit of a wobble to it, but I know that won't bother them. But, um, yeah. It is for a five blade mount, but I'm just gonna install it with the five blades. There's the tag on top. It is from March of 2015. I'm not sure what attack for it is, but I'm not gonna bother looking around for it all over the place. As I'm just gonna test it and such. So um yeah. <clears throat> Alright, now for low. I do wish that the blades were actually just color of the pole chain but um it's all right like this as well so those quick connects it's not that they're not working well it's just i figured since they've renovated it a little bit more in terms of like making it more updated looking they put like a fake brick wall on the side i really felt that the quick connects really didn't suit the look of the place that well compared to before so i figured let me see if i can find something that's like a steel or nickel finish of sorts that would complement the new look of the place but but um yeah they kind of have a, giving it more like a retro look so it's not like they made it look super modern but there's a lot more silver stuff like tables and such chrome ones so i figured these would complement the place a bit better but also i can get those two quick connects because they are childhood for me as those were what replaced the two brass fans that were there before, the 52 inch ones with the um, four blades, schoolhouse white stencil. Basically those two unknown things, which I'm pretty sure are Walmart's so that I got earlier on. But um, those aren't the exact ones from the diner, but they're the same exact model. And those fans were replaced them in, in early 2008, I wanna say. No, late 2007 it was. Going into 2008. But um, yeah, those fans they didn't toss. They just gave them to the person who replaced them. And he installed them in his garage. Not sure if they're still there to this day. But yeah. <clears throat> but I figured those fans have been there for quite some time. And I feel like these will definitely hold up better. With the finish they're in. And I can at least get those two fans for, because the other thing that's sentimental about them is that they were put up by the original owners that I knew from my childhood and as since they sold the place to somebody else because they retired but they didn't have anybody in the family that wanted to keep it so they've been having various owners throughout the years but the current owner is actually cousins with my cousins so I have more connections with them now to get those fans. And I offered to give these to them for free, and I'm going to install it for them for free. So, yeah, I showed them a picture of them. They like how they look. So, yeah. That's a good low speed to it. Moves just enough air for a low speed. It does have a 153 motor, so it's not anything huge. But for a diner, this will be more than enough. It doesn't really get too hot in there anyways, but... It'll definitely do its job. 
But yeah, the thing is, is that they're cousins with my the cousins that I filmed out years ago with the um, Hanta Bay Pairs and Twos, the Howard Reese Chessires, and the Monte Carlo style with ceiling fans. They're related to them. So I'm not related to the new owners of the diner, but they're related to my cousins. So we are, in some ways, kind of have a close connection in a sense, but not related by blood, basically. They're related to my aunt who is married into my family. So yeah, but it's kind of an interesting turn of events how the, the diner is now basically in the family in some way or another after going there for so many years. And I kind of want, I've been wanting to give them something nicer that I felt would look nicer in the diner. So I figured these would be good since they were 20 bucks each. And they definitely are simple enough in compliments place. So, um, yeah. <clears throat> now let's go ahead and move it up to medium. This one I'm going to be installing probably in the front of the diner and the other one in the back. Just because with the blades being a bit droopy on this one, a tiny bit from it being installed without being in motion for so many years, I feel like it would be better if it's away from the kitchen area. Because the one that's the quick connection that's in the back out of the two of them, that one's a bit closer to the kitchen portion where they cook the food and such. So I feel like the other one would, since it's in better shape, would be a better choice for the back. And this one I'll put up in the front area. And I do have them labeled number one, like on top of the motor and the blades that go with this one. So I don't get them mixed up in such sense. I don't want to mix up the blade sets and everything. <clears throat> Has a good medium speed to it. <clears throat> I did offer to put them on remote controls, but he said that he only would use them on one speed anyways. Probably medium or high. But I mean, at least they had the pull chain extension so they can actually change the speed, the speed on them easier compared to the quick connects that don't have any pull chain connections. Yeah, it has a good medium speed to it. Not too fast, not too slow. Yeah, it's definitely good for like a restaurant. <clears throat> and I always tend to see stuff like this in restaurants anyway, so I figured that's another reason why these will look nice there. Especially a good breeze. <clears throat> I'm honestly not sure if these outperform the quick connects or not, but these definitely will look nicer there and such. They'll look more clean compared to the white fans, which surprisingly they are not yellowed looking despite being in, in like a kitchen environment for so many years. But um, yeah. All right, now for high speed. <clears throat> has a very slight wobble, but it's nothing major. But again, the blades were installed and, and not being used. So obviously there's gonna be like one or two of them that are slightly a bit more warped than the others. I mean, I know, I think that both of the quick connects there is wobble. I know one of them, the one in the back wobbles a little bit, but I don't remember if the one up front wobbles as much, but it won't bother them and such. Well, yeah, it has a good high speed too. It's not too fast and such. And that was the other thing I was thinking is like, yeah, I could give them something better like a Casablanca or a Hunter, something more sh higher end showroom, but I didn't want to put something that would be too strong in high speed, considering it's in a restaurant. But it's something that if it wasn't a high speed, I wanted to like cool people's food down too quickly. Another option I would have went with it are Hampton Bake Farming Tents and Brush Nickel, but they don't sell them in the stores anymore. I remember back in 2013, 2014, I 
was talking to the owners I knew from childhood that they were actually planning to replace them with something else, but then that never happened. But now, many years later, I'm going to make that actually happen. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm gonna be honest here, movement's nothing special, but it'll definitely do the job for it. It's gonna be used for in the diner, so I'm not complaining. It'll move air around and such. It'll complement the decor in the place. That's really oh I'm maybe it was looking for. I'm pretty sure it does use the same size motor as the Quick Connect, so. Yeah. Alright, I'll shut it off and do spin down. And then I'll show it on reverse for a brief moment. But, um, yeah, the fan definitely seems to run well. I did notice that out of two of them, this one's bit motor seems to be a little bit hissy and such, whereas the other one's dead silent. I'm not sure why that's the case, but it's going to be in a restaurant, so it's not going to be noticed at all with all the noise that goes on in that diner and such, with the plates clinging around, the silverware and all that, people talking. So it's not like they're going to really notice it. But, um, yeah, I mean, the fan's seven years old. Same thing with the other one. But they're not, they're not, they don't look like they've been, well, this one's never been used. It's just been assembled, and that's it. But um, they don't look worn out or anything. So, yeah, that would definitely look really nice in the diner. And I really can't wait to get them installed. Currently, they're on vacation right now, so I can't do it now. But I got to wait for them to come back. They're up closed for a few weeks, and then they'll reopen. So once they reopen, I'll get them installed. And such. I do have the owner's number and everything, so it's just more so finding a time to go and install them and such after they close for the day. But, um, yeah, I'm definitely glad I could do this for them because I feel it's, it's a nice thing. Something I can kind of give to a diner that's been really sentimental to me for so many years and such. <clears throat> now, I doubt these things are ever going to be put on reverse. I've noticed they do use them in the wintertime on downdraft. I know in the past, some of the previous owners, especially the ones from my childhood, they would put them on reverse. But recently, they've been using them on high speed. And on high speed, I'm on the, the, the downdrafts and such. But, I mean, even in the wintertime, it does get pretty warm in there. So I feel like that's the main reason. I figured I'd just show it on reverse just for the heck of it. But, uh, sorry about that. The um, phone ran out of space. So I just haven't cleared from space, but I'm just showing it on reverse high for a brief moment. So, um, it's not like it was anything being missed. But, um, yeah. And that'll be it for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and stay tuned for more videos to come.